Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. Many people trying to get into cybersecurity with no experience are usually not sure how to get started. In this video, I will discuss how you can find cybersecurity job with no real job experience. This is a step-by-step -step guide which contains specific things you can do to rapidly increase your chances of landing a cybersecurity job. There are four actionable steps in this approach. I recommend following all four steps. But if you're already familiar with any of the steps, you can skip the step and move on to the next one. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. Let's get into it. Security rides on top of IT. So having a good understanding of fundamental IT concepts will give you a big boost. Let's discuss the steps in details. Step number one is to study and pass either CompTIA Network Blocks exam or Cisco CCNA. You don't have to study both. You need just one of them. Before you make that choice, here are a couple of things I think you should be aware of. First, while CompTIA Network Plus is vendor agnostic, meaning that the exam does not focus on any specific networking vendor, CCNA goes deep into Cisco's product in addition to covering general networking concepts. Secondly, I think Network Plus certification material may be easier to get through, in my own opinion. Feel free to let me know your opinion in the comment section below. At the end, whether you choose Network Plus or CCNA, you will be just fine, as long as you give it your best. Networking is the backbone of IT and cybersecurity, so you need to have strong graphs of basic networking concepts. If you already have good graphs of networking concepts, then great, move on to step 2. But if you are not sure what IP address or subnet is, or OSI model is, I recommend you take Network Plus or CCNA exam to gain networking knowledge and get certified too, so you don't struggle later on. Step number two is to study and pass either Linux Professional Institute's LPIC 1 exam or CompTIA's Linux Plus exam. Until recently, there was no separate exam for CompTIA's Linux Plus certification. Back then, when you pass LPIC 1 exam, you will be awarded both LPIC 1 and Linux Plus certificates through the so-called 2 for 1 program. That program ended about three years ago. It's your choice whether to go for LPIC 1 or Linux Plus certification. But keep in mind that for LPIC 1, you need to pass two separate exams to be certified, while you need to pass only one exam to get Linux Plus certified. Many cybersecurity implementations and tools run on top of Linux kernel, so I strongly recommend you become comfortable with Linux because it's highly essential in cybersecurity. You need to understand the command line and different representation of file systems in Linux. Learn basic bash scripting. You can also spin up Kali Linux VM in your lab and play around with it. Any other Linux distro should be fine but I recommend Kali because it comes preloaded with many security tools. Step number three is to start learning basic Python programming. If you're already comfortable with Python, congratulations. This will form a cornerstone in your cybersecurity journey. If you're not comfortable with Python, I recommend you start learning it as soon as possible. There are many good learning materials online, including many good content on YouTube channels like Programming with Mush, and Cory Schaefer. You can check them out and see if you like them. If not, try other materials that work for you. Check website like codecademy.com. The goal is to get yourself comfortable around Python. Step number four is to choose your cybersecurity career path and pass some cybersecurity certifications. At this point, you should start thinking about the cybersecurity path to follow because cybersecurity is broad and has many specializations. For example, if you like red teaming, then you may want to go into ethical hacking or pen testing. On the other hand, if you like to defend against attacks in blue team, there are many roles for you, like cybersecurity analyst, security engineer, or threat hunter, and many more. The reality is that there are much more jobs available on defensive side of security than on the offensive side, though I'm not certain about the ratio. Some reports say it's about 10 is to 1 ratio. That is, for every red teaming job, there are 10 other blue teaming jobs available. This is something to keep in mind when making the decision. 
but here is my recommendation. No matter which cybersecurity path you want to follow, I think it's more helpful to learn ethical hacking early on and continue on that path if you like it. But if you don't like it, you can easily switch to the defensive side of security. Your ethical hacking skills will help you defend better in a blue team. As far as certification goes, there are a couple of certifications that I will recommend. The first one is CompTIA Security Plus exam. With Security Plus, you will learn various security concepts like cryptography, access control, identity management, threats, vulnerabilities, data security, to name a few. Passing the exam will get you through some HR filters during interview selection process. The second certification to get your hands dirty with is Elon Security Junior Penetration Tester, EJPT. There is a free EJPT course on iAny website. This is a hands-on course in which you can apply your Linux and Security Plus knowledge. You will learn various pen testing techniques. Try out some projects along the way and publish them on GitHub. At this point, it's time to update your resume, your LinkedIn profile, and other online profiles with all the certifications and skills you've acquired all this while, and then start submitting job applications. I recommend you apply for entry-level and mid-level positions. Don't be intimidated by job requirements. If you meet up to 20% of the job requirements, it makes sense to apply. I say that because there are a lot of open cybersecurity positions and employers are struggling to fill the positions. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it informative. All the best in your cybersecurity journey. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.